All right, so first off, let's Yay. start with oh, the cheers. Wait. Oh, where's my tea? I put it over here, girl. Oh. I got it, okay. <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> uh, today joining me is Liz, my Hi. friend and uh, brain, fellow brainstormer on all things baking and plants and arts crafts and stuff. We are like two peas in a pod when yes. it comes to... Uh, Practically neighbors too. Yes, always... yes, I know, yeah. <laughs> I know, so lucky. <laughs> so today uh, we're taking a step aside from gardening because this is kind of our channel actually. We, we both are gonna post things on here. Um, we kind of came up with it together too. Um, and you'll also see Liz in some gardening stuff down the line too because she's she's a gardener. She does all- I, I am an amateur gardener compared well, to her. no, so. no, I'm an amateur. Um, so, uh, but yeah, but so we're gonna throw up whatever we want because it's our channel. So yeah. we like to bake. So we're throwing up a baking thing because hey, holidays. So Liz came up with the idea of making cookie boxes. Um, so we found um, several different recipes, and I'll let you explain. Yeah. So I thought cookie boxes are such a great gift idea for the holidays. Um, and I am going to gift this cookie box uh, to. She, my sister-in-law, because she, she, my yeah. husband's sister. Um, but the yeah. but the but the thing about it is, um, she likes things to be a little bit uh, more gluten-free. While she doesn't, she's not exactly allergic to it. She's definitely very sensitive to it, and her daughter also is very very sensitive to um, gluten. So I wanted to make this cookie box, but try gluten-free cookies. So yeah. that yeah, and all these recipes were just literally converting them from just by using the the uh, what gluten is it gluten free flour, flour mix. Um, yeah. I a lot of times use either um, King Arthur baking yeah the one, one or the one. Bob's Red Mill. Mm -hmm. Is that am I getting the names yeah. right? Um, so we're doing a uh, first first one. We're gonna do is really simple. It's a short shortbread. Uh, I always want to say it's, <laughs> it's a shortbread short one, bread. and we're gonna we got I got these really fun. Wooden stamps. I don't know if you could tell. This one's a flower. This one's I have a bee and stuff. Uh, so we're gonna stamp them because those are those are just really easy to make little prints on them, and um, they're more about the design and kind of the salty butteriness than necessarily being like a very complex cookie. You know, flavor. It's not. It's for the more simple cookie lovers, and um, which I, I am, and I also like the complicated stuff too. You know? Yeah. Uh, so we're doing one simple one that we're gonna kind of decorate more and. Um, then we're gonna do some more fun ones. Yeah, so we're going to try some uh, chocolate, I think you called it chocolate crinkle cookies. Are the molasses crinkle the cookies? Molasses. I think so. Okay, okay. Sure. We're doing the molasses crinkle cookies and then you <laughs> had some chocolate one. We're doing a chocolate yeah, one because we're doing chocolate everybody one. wants a chocolate one. And some spritz cookies is on the plate. Too, yeah, right? yeah. These, all these um, stamps and stuff that I got, I got on Etsy. Um, I'll put the, we'll put the links down below, mm -hmm. but this one was from Fun Foods Tools and they're pretty cute. We'll see how they work out. I haven't used them yet. So, yeah. Okay, we'll get started now. I pre-measured everything and let me pull up my phone here because this is... Um, the recipe for this one is on, I've, I've made it before and I really like it. It's from Sugar Spun Run. I use her, some of her, oh, quite a bit of her, her baking stuff. Um, she has some really good stuff up there. Um, so let's see here. We're gonna start by beating the butter until it's creamy and then we add the sugar, vanilla extract and salt. Got it. All right. There's oh. one thing about shortbread cookies. You have to like butter. Yes. <laughs> because you're gonna have a lot of butter. Yes, yes, for sure. Oh, and we were talking about important tools. That important tools. One of the things we were saying is the best thing to have in the kitchen is a scale. Just, I bought a cheapo yeah. scale, like, <laughs> changed my life. Actually, my husband bought it for me. It was uh, one of his, his hey. um, <laughs> yeah, I was like, mm, good job, babe. That was a good <laughs> okay, let me make sure, uh, okay, yeah. I preheated the oven to 350, so. That's okay. So just screen this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then to, uh, so sugar is gonna be next. Looking pretty creamy, but okay. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I'm always like, it looks good enough. Yeah. <laughs> right. So this is, and then once we add the flowers, it's starting to combine, but don't over mix it. Yeah. I got one of those um, heaters 
that you were saying that has the, the spatula on the side. Uh -huh. And so it like it mixes it so much better than yeah. when it came with. That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Do you, so for the chocolate cookies, do you want to make chocolate sports cookies or do you want to make some other kind of chocolate? Because we were, or did you want to make a chocolate sprinkle? I thought you said it was chocolate sprinkle. I, I, thought, I, mean, I thought it was talking about the, the molasses or sprinkle. Oh, molasses. whatever the molasses Or maybe. unless you wanted to make a ginger snap cookie. No, not the ginger okay. snap. Because I think we said that was different. So okay. whatever we were going to use the molasses for. Okay, that, that was for the cookie. molasses sprinkle. Okay, that's what I was talking about. Okay. And then, but, but we should put a chocolate one in there. Yeah, we should put a chocolate one. In. So, like a, I think you were saying like there's like a triple chocolate something. Okay, well, we'll find okay. chocolate recipes. Chocolate cookie recipes abound. We'll yeah. find something. I mean, chocolate chip cookie. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll obviously we're super prepared. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you so much for coming. Yeah, thank you for having me. Thank you. 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 Th
I would imagine if it was chocolate, though. Even more <laughs> oh, yeah. So. Even, even more so. Okay. <laughs> All right. One dough done. Yes. Only a slight mishap, but hey, we made it work. <laughs> All right. This is going to go chill in the fridge for 15 to 30 minutes. Okay, so next we're making um, caramel, yeah, car <laughs> cookie two, number two, two yeah, <laughs> uh, caramel spritz cookies, and they're quite similar to um, the shortbread cookies, except they have an A, which kind of, it, it changes the texture and, and gives it a little bit of a different flavor, plus the caramel. So what I have here is the one thing I've learned with caramel. Um, uh, extract is that it is incredibly strong and you only use a teeny tiny bit. Um, so this is mainly vanilla with like an eighth of a teaspoon of caramel. Because, Basically a splash. Yeah, yeah, because that stuff is, <laughs> is powerful and anytime I've used it I've always ended up over pouring. So um, this is a recipe um, built off of basically a, a, a spritz cookie from I Am Baker. Um, she's a really big um, in the baking community. Um, she's awesome. Uh, and I just changed the extract on it and that's, you know, you can play with things very easily. These are very easy recipes to play with. Great. Adding the butter. Yeah. Means more butter. <laughs> I think it's the butter wasn't as soft as the oh, first probably. one. The first one it was like... Oh, I don't know. It's really old. That's old. No, I need a new one. I think it's old. Yes, I want a better one. Mine is rattling it's too, and I can't figure out why. It, like, yeah. Oh, okay, wait, wait. We're supposed to put everything in there. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> See, the, we don't even read directions read sometimes. Directions. <laughs> okay. Okay. We like to bake. We like to bake. Okay, okay. so just add so, all of it. Except for the flour. Okay. Yeah. So here's the sugar. Which I won't drop the bowl. Wait, oh, there is salt. There's no, um... I should have just combined the salt and the sugar into the same. You know what, that's probably easier. <laughs> that's I, was totally trying to do, I was trying to do it like the cooking show style where, you know, they pour in so that the camera can see it, but no, that doesn't work. I thought they like they normally do like the zoom in and they're pouring it in nicely from that side. Yeah, just do whatever's easiest for you. Whatever, whatever's easiest here, right? Here's the salt. This is where the mishap happened last time, so we're not doing that. Here is the flavorings, vanilla and caramel, caramel. Yeah. Is it caramel or caramel? This is like pecans what? and pecans. Right. So I'm going to bake. Yeah. You let us know which one you used to. Tomatoes and tomatoes. <laughs> Slowly mix. <laughs> blend, uh, blend at low speed until well mixed. Wait, 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 no, 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 hold on, sorry. Medium speed. <laughs> I can read. <laughs> I was just jumping ahead in the rest of the Okay, then after that, creamed. Scraping the bowl often until creamy. Okay. I'll let you scrape. <laughs> she makes it look easy, and I'm just struggling here, so. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking okay. about. I mean, I'm always forgetting my words and stuff. <laughs> gonna scrape the bowl down often it says but this is why it works because even if she forgets her words I still know what she needs so. yeah that's true, that's true. <laughs> the power of uh, words hold yeah. on <laughs> I did forget my words what is the when you mind mind when you ESP. Yes, thank you this is where this is my workout for the uh, our butter was a little not room temp yeah it was a little too cold Hopefully it'll come together here soon. Right now it's not looking like it's coming together. <laughs> okay, so then we bring it into a plenty and add flour. Oh, shit. What does it say? Add flour and salt and blend at low speed until well mixed. Okay, <laughs> we are we are really doing this. Okay, so we're adding Maybe that's why it's not coming together. Turn it down to low speed. So sorry. <laughs> what did you say about me making this look easy? <laughs> we're slowly adding flour. Scraping bowl. Oh, yeah, we did that. Add flour and salt. Blend it low speed. Until yeah, it. yeah, we just add the salt too early. I'm sorry, I am Baker for messing up your recipe. <laughs> I really do like your website, by the way. <laughs> I like your recipes. I can smell the caramel too. Just an eighth a teaspoon. 
Less is more in this case. <laughs> they were like, <laughs> check it. <laughs> we still mess it up. <laughs> I think that's that's kind of the nice thing about cookies, though, is they're they're fairly forgiving. Like, depends on the cookie. But yeah, yeah, like for the most cookie. part, it's like you, you like mix it all together and like make it look pretty and bake it, and it's fine. Whereas sometimes with cakes, cakes and stuff, if you do everything in the wrong order or uh, you mix it too much, or I mean, yeah. I feel like it's a lot less forgiving than cookies. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Agreed. Okay. Do you want to color the dough? Oh, because we have it's gonna be like this, Maybe. like blondish color yeah. for the other one. Mm -hmm. like, Do we have like a uh, like a colored sugar to smoke on top? Yeah. Oh yeah. I got. I got all of those. Well, let's. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who am I talking to? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so maybe maybe we can keep it this this color, but then maybe sprinkle stuff on top. That's make good. it a little colorful. Yeah. I mean, we could divide the dough and do a bunch of different ones. Yeah. I think let's since we're making four, let's just keep it simple. Simple this time. Simple is good. Yeah. Especially when it's us and we're making four. <laughs> And we barely made the one we We did, we did. <laughs> and, or this one. I know, right? So far. Two for two on two the mishaps. Two. This is true home making. Okay? Yes. This is how real people do it. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. We're going to saran wrap this and then I think we chill it. Do we chill it? Hmm. Doesn't say it. No. No. This says to just like do it. I found that the dough was a bit warm as in easier to pipe yeah okay so we're gonna pipe this Liz has a cookie press All right. let me get the bake. oh cool we don't have to chill the dough it says to preheat the oven to 400 for this so let me go ahead while we're doing that okay so we have our dough we're using a cookie cookie gun spritzer thing um, I got this off of Amazon I'll uh, put the link down below so you can get one of your own. It's pretty nifty. It has all these different uh, discs that can have different shapes as well as uh, piping tips on them. Um, and it's it's pretty straightforward um, how to use it. <laughs> I say that now and then just, just wait. I mean, <laughs> maybe I should say that after. We'll find, after a, way. We'll done find this. a way. We'll find a way. Um, but it's neat because it, you, you know, you can pipe many different shapes and uh, apparently frosting in here with the with the frosting tips too. Uh, so which one would you like to make? Girl, it's up to you. You decide. Mm. Uh, I like the star. The star. The star. One. Yeah, that's cute. Oh. <laughs> There's this one. So we're gonna go with a yeah. star-shaped one. You got a bag or you need a bag? Oh, you just oh, put oh, it you in. Put it yeah, in you here. literally okay. just put it in here. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Or is okay. it a pain to clean? Have you, had it? You've never, you haven't used it. I used it once. It's, okay. not, it's not, not too bad. bad. Okay. Um, do we need to spoon it in? How do we get it in there? Um, How does this contraption these, work? These are all good questions. I, you know. We'll I edit these out. Yeah, <laughs> us, us not knowing how to work things. I haven't used this in. Nobody should know. <laughs> we don't know what we're doing. And over a year. Do a little bit at a time, too. I think also when you're piping this stuff, it's better to work in small. Bits, so I'm only gonna put a third to half the dough in here, and then we'll see how the, the I'll warm it up with my hands, and we'll see how the, the piping part goes. He is ready to be filled. <laughs> Let me try just kind of warming this up a little bit. I have very warm hands. <laughs> ah, man. <laughs> I should have cut the opening bigger. I don't know what I was thinking. All right. Have you done this before? Uh, no. I, I think I used it the cheapo one one time. That did not work well, and I ended up getting frustrated, and I picked it with my own. 
my hands. So I'm wondering if I'm gonna get fresh air. This is my second time using it, but the first time was not so good. So oh. let's see. <laughs> Let's see. You didn't tell me that. Oh, sorry. No. <laughs> Not going well? No, it's, it's coming out. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. Oh, hey, it's not bad. Yeah, okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay, that one was less successful. Maybe it's just one. It's okay. Click. I'll, I'll eat that one. Is it one click and then? See, this is a problem. They don't Maybe tell I you. I warmed it up too much with my. No, hand. No, 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 no. They don't tell you how much do you click it. Okay. Right. Is it? Is it one click or is it two clicks? No. I mean that one's not that one's salvageable. It just yeah, kind of it's just it to push the tops down a little bit. Yeah. So it's two because that one. Yeah, I think two. One. See, then it's like that. Should we? What if we flowered the top? No, that probably or this is not working. I don't think it's working. Uh, let me try one more. Try one squeeze this time. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Clearly takes four hands and one click. Okay. This will be tedious, but it's happening. Okay, actually now that we Now that we got it. I know what we're doing. You do need an extra set of hands to hold this still, otherwise it just pulls the uh, parchment paper right up with it. Hey, I thought of a word. Yeah. <laughs> it came to me right when I needed yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. I think that last one is like running out. Okay, so we'll go ahead and stick this one in the <laughs> oven. It's got a few, uh, a few blocks, a few, but a few ones good. that require us to eat them. Yeah. Oh uh, darn. No. no. <laughs> uh, let me see how long I stick them in the oven for. Five to eight minutes, or until slightly golden. Okay. It's really fast. Yeah. It's because we bake them at 400. Oh. Hey, remember it's one click with this thing. You have to push it down on the uh, baking tray. Make sure it's firm on there, and just. Squeeze the handle once and then lift straight up and it'll be great. I don't know how some people do this by themselves. This, this is like way more convoluted. And I would definitely recommend putting it in some type of a bag before you squeeze it into that thing. Otherwise, it's going to be really hard to fill this. Yeah, the first time I did it, I just tried to spoon it in there and that was a messy affair. Do not recommend. And then we can... Thank you. <laughs> I don't know how it gets there. <laughs> I like to wear my projects. Same with the the dirt when I'm gardening. Very nice. It's like all over me. Perfect. All right. Thank you. I needed that affirmation of my parchment cutting skills. Yeah. No. I mean, hey, that was that was great. Nope. It's just that first one, I think. I think you can stuff these pretty close together because they don't really, yeah. spread cookies don't spread. spread. They did not look like this the first time I tried yeah. this. They look like little daisies. These are super cute. They're precious. Well, now that I got this, this the actual spritz. Yeah, and now, yeah, now it's going really, really well. It goes fast, and they look cute. Let so. me get my cooling sheets out. That's actually. a that's a win win. So, and if y'all are like me, and you don't have a ton of counter space, so I use these. Um, I don't know if you can kind of see it, but it's a it's like a it's like a shelf. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that works really well for me. Let's go ahead and switch the tip on that. What do you want to use next? I'll let you pick. I picked one. You pick one. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. I feel like it has to go with this little flower. This one looks like a, looks oh, like dog. a hot dog. So we did this, this one. Like a football. <laughs> it does <laughs> look like a football. Like, mm -hmm. 
I kind of like this wreath here, I'm gonna yeah. say. Yeah, okay. Let's find the wreath. It's this one. Oh, this one. Yeah, sweet. I'm into the wreaths, they're cute. Hey, it's very festive. Yeah. So I say once we figured out the, the little, what is that called? Spritz gunner thing. Spritz gunner yeah. thing. It's pretty. The press, cookie press? No, it's not a press. Yeah, well, it is a cookie press, I think. Okay. Yeah, they, they call it cookie you know presses. What did they say on those instructions? Yeah, right. Cookie press. Cookie press. The cookie press is, I like it. I like it. It's cute. I would say I'm not a fan of all the tips. I think they're, there's there's a few that are not cute. Definitely. The football one. Yeah. Unless you want to make spritz cookies for a football game. Yeah. I mean, maybe we're missing what they should actually be, and we're just calling it what what we see it yeah. as. But the little tree's cute too. Yeah, the tree. But the tree comes up. But for Christmas, this is yeah. this is Thanksgiving time. We're not gonna do the Christmas right. stuff just yet. And I'm just reusing the same parchment sheet because it's I don't. Yeah, <laughs> it's still room. fine, and I don't want to waste stuff. Yeah. If I can oh. avoid it. Okay, let's try this. See if this works. No, the first one you have to do too. Almost. It looks like one of those little uh, fruit loops. <laughs> yeah. Remind you this. Okay, oh, there we there go. There we go. go. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I wasn't holding the sheet tight enough. No, I think I pulled up too fast. So you, um, if you pull up too fast, I think it warps it. But that first one is always, I think, like a bust. I think I got on. Oh, these are cute too. I know, they're all cute. I mean, kind of like pat down any like things that stick up. Yeah. Sorry. No, that is me. It's totally like a how how you pull up from it too. Like you literally have to pull up straight up. Okay, so straight up and pull up, pull slowly. Yeah, pull slowly, straight up. Just flatten me out some of these pointy bits here. I like the little pointy bits on some though. Yeah. Kind of looks like little ornaments on the wreaths. True, yeah. Oh. Now, okay, well that was That the... was it, yeah, only okay. a tiny bit left. Perfect. Just a tiny bit in there, but I think that's good. Okay, yeah. 